Hi guys, I'm going to be starting a city. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video. So let's get started. Okay, there's a village there. Village there. <laughs> village over there. Why did I spawn next to so many villages? I'm going to start building now. What should I build it out of? I feel like building a mansion. I'll just start off with a basic house for now. I don't want to get my city into too much. So that's the base of the house. Now we need to do, it's gonna be like a curvy house, I guess. So now I need to do the actual house, the curvy part. I'm going to do the curvy part. There we go. So what you want to do is I'm going to be doing like that type of thing. Like where it curves out because then I can have a back garden. Like the curvy part here could be the actual door. And then I can have a back garden. That's my base for my house. Now I need to go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to do this for every single corner. There we go. There we go. Now we need to do all of the corners. I went over one. I went over it. There we go. That should do. I feel like that's a gun a bit over. There we go. One more. Yeah. In. There we go. I did it. So I, I want villages because then it'll look like a proper city because I have it'll have houses in it. Four villages. Right. One over there. One there. One there. One there. I am so lucky. Let's carry on with my house. I'm gonna do a house with a back garden. A pool maybe, might look a bit cool. And then I might do a bouncy castle because you know, then people can come over when it's their, somebody's party and then do have a little party themselves at my house and then yeah so i'm just going to do a little bit thicker because this is actually the window i've got a little secret about the windows so get some glass like that and then you put quartz stairs below it and then that kind of makes it look like an actual window. I'm just going to do this for all of it because I like these sort of windows. But the, this is going to be the door, that side there. That's the door. Because you can have a door in your house, otherwise you can't get in it. I'm going to do the door now because, you know, she doesn't have a door in the house. Like, obviously you need a door, otherwise you can't get in it. How did the door go? Right, I remember now. 
put away in it. Like that. This is my own design that I'm trying to remember. Because I don't want to be forgetting it. And then not knowing how to do it. Which means that will be a bad thing. That's too wide. Why did I get bedrock? I don't need that. I do not need bedrock. Do I guys? That should do and then I could just fill the rest of this in with quartz because I don't want too many windows because then people can see in which I don't want that happening <laughs> I, thought I might why did I get wooden um, slabs wooden slabs oak wood slabs yeah. Having a bit of trouble getting a door. And then when you walk in, this is going to be the floor. So this is the floor, which I just need to fill in. But I might do the actual sides first. This is just going to be the exact same as what I did on the first wall. Because I can't actually be bothered to do <laughs> the windows. This is going to be high up there. I might do the floor and then the actual kitchen, maybe. I might do the kitchen over that, no. Kitchen over that side. And then there is like the living room. Here could be no. Yeah, that could be the live the living room. This could be the bedroom. Get yeah, some ideas there. There we go. Right now I need to do one more wall and then I can start decorating. Oh yeah! I forgot to put stairs there, underneath it. I forgot about that. I did it on the first wall, but then I just didn't do it on the last, the, these two windows. Go on to this side now. There we go. So I've done two, no, four windows. No, five windows because of that window. There we go. Now I'm just going to do this final window and then I can start decorating my house. But I'll do the floor, not decorate it yet. I need to do the roof. Oopsies. <laughs> I forgot to do the roof. Everyone needs a roof on their house because if you didn't have a roof then rain would get in. So yeah. Or if you had a rock hole in your roof, that won't be good. Because then it'll leak through. I've done this this part of the floor really quickly. Cause I, I only did like two bits of the floor and then now I've just done all that <laughs> and I just do this side of the floor and then I might go on to the other side to do the floor which means that will be the living room this area will be the bedroom <coughs> and then that will be the kitchen because you need a kitchen otherwise you won't be able to survive because then without food survive so you need a kitchen obviously right, I've almost done this, this part of the floor so now I need to go on to the second part of the floor but the kitchen floor so this is gonna be the kitchen this whole thing is gonna be the kitchen so I need blacks um 
Well, black. I need black. Something black. Right, there's a block of coal. I could use that. I could use a block of coal because that's black. There we go. That should be done. What do you think, guys? Is this a good floor accommodation for the kitchen? I think so. Comment down below what you think of my floor. I think it's a good design. But comment down below what you think. Is it a good design? Or maybe not so good. Maybe I could have done like a better design or something. So, we've almost done the floor. There we go. Now I'm just filling in the white, the, well, the empty gaps with a um, block of quartz. A bit weird for a floor. There we go. I could do that. And then one, two, three. And then up like that. There we go. I think that's a good design. And then I could do that. I'll just do it on either side and then connect like that. And then I could do that. <coughs> and I could do that. There we go. I'm going to put a door on it. There's my kitchen. Well, it's not done yet, but it will be soon. If you want to make a counter, get black quartz and black um, carpet. Put black quartz in a row like that. And then I put black carpet over the top of it. And now, can you see, guys? It makes it into a counter. I might just put all of that in my inventory, inventory because I don't really need that right now. I need a cooker, definitely. <laughs> um, I need that could be a washer. This could be a dryer. Because we don't actually have dryers in Minecraft. I wish we did. That would be so cool if we did. There's my cooker, washing machine and my dryer. And then... We need a sink, definitely. Because we need a sink and a kitchen. Might do a double sink, one for the sit, wash, dish and washing dishes. And then one for washing your hands. There we go. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Maybe we should do a table because everyone needs a table in their kitchen. Otherwise they won't be able to eat their food on nothing. So, like four, like that. Like that. We need to place spruce trap doors on it, like that, because then that looks like a table. And then I'm just going to put half slabs instead of stairs. Because you can't sit on stairs. Well, you can't really sit on half slabs either, but oh well. I think you should convert, like, pretend that you're sitting down. Could be a stool. That you're sitting on. I think that's the kitchen done. So now we need to do the living room, which is going to be over here. So what we need for this is quartz stairs, and then place it in a corner like that, or whatever you want. Actually, you can just do anything. You could have a coffee table if you really wanted to. The way I make a coffee table is going like that. I put four like that in a row, but in a square. And then 
I, what I do to make a TV is I get some quartz block. I'm just going to use this because I don't have quartz block even though it was on the first one. So, yeah. And then I go. It depends which way you want the TV. So, I'm going to have it this way because, yeah, I'm going to be sitting like that and then um, going, I'm watching TV. So, I'm going to do that. And then what I do is I get to painting, put whatever I want to watch on TV. I can't find any good pictures. Is it because it's not big enough? I bet if I put it on this wall, it'll be a massive one. That's what I need that right there what I just got I still can't get it there we go after 10 billion attempts oh my goodness that's scary that'll do I can be watching a dollhouse I think that's done I'm gonna go over to my bedroom so then I can have some privacy I might make myself a, a actual bedroom with a wall around it there we go make a hole and I know it's kind of covering the window but oh well no bill want to look anyway because <laughs> my bedroom there we go that's one wall done I might add some like pink carpet or something to this house. Pink and blue, that's what I fancy. Yeah, that's what I really fancy. Pink and blue, magenta, and some nice light blue carpet. Uh, um, that. That's what I think I should do. It would have been there, but then I can't place it there. So, um, would have been there, but I can't place it there. It would have been there. It would have been there, definitely. And then place that there. I'm just going to do the carpet first because then I can get on with my bedroom and then maybe the outside yeah so what outside what I'm going to do for that in my back garden is a pool and a bouncy castle they're like the main things that I really want in my house um, in my back garden they're the main things because then people can just come over and have a little party on my bouncy castle. Oopsies! Placed it in the wrong place. There we go. Getting onto the kitchen now. Almost finished. Well, I'm not almost finished because I got the light blue carpet to do. I think that's it for the um, magenta carpet. And I'm just going to fill in all those gaps with some light blue carpet. Let me just do this. Place some carpet. I've done this pretty quick. Like, this has been. This is probably like the best house I've ever done without any help. So I'm pretty proud of myself for doing this. I'm getting this carpet done so quick. Come on now guys. Comment down below whether I'm doing this quick because I, I am. Because I'm already over this part of the carpet, well the floor. Because I'm placing the carpet right now. I'm gonna do my bedroom now because I feel like that's the most like important thing that I need. 
I've got a bed design, guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get like any kind of bed you want. And then you wanna get some oak planks. And then you want to do like that, six, like that. And then you wanna put three beds. This is like a desk type bed. You wanna put blocks like that. And then you want to put trap doors on these parts. I've got the update so I could use any one of these but I'm just going to use oak because I don't really need to use any fancy ones. And then I'm just going to do... How am I meant to do these ones guys? I'm really confused. Hmm. There we go. I'm placing them everywhere. Oh dear. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I just broke it instead. Oopsies. Didn't really mean to do that, but oh well. Oh, that <laughs> places it so that it goes sideways. What in the world? We got there eventually. So then you're going to put eight planks there. You can put a stair or a half slab here. I'm just going to put a stair because it's a seat. There we go. So you can sit down like that. You can put a pressure plate. I'm just going to use a stone one because it looks more like a keyboard. And then we're going to get a painting, put two more blocks either side it, so it doesn't turn out like a big one. And then find the one that you like for a picture for your laptop. I don't like that, that one's good. And then, to make some drawers, get a item frame, didn't mean to get black concrete, item frame with a button inside so you're gonna use a stone one and a button like that which makes it look like a bunk bed with a um with this on it but well, with a bed on it and a desk i might put a torch here because it's quite dark and then i might pour one of these end rods in it to make it look nicer and then I could do I think that's pretty much it for my room because I've done the bed up there oh yeah a ladder leading up to the bed otherwise I can't get to the bed obviously guys I have to do a pink carpet There we go. Can't place it there either, so I'll just leave that. Can't place it there. I'll just leave that as well. There we go. do another quick desk by doing trap doors <laughs> it has to auto save doesn't it that wasn't long that was probably like five seconds this is my desk well, my second desk because I've already got one. There we 
again. I'm not sat on it. This is how you sit on it. You just kind of sit in the table. That's my room done. I think we're pretty much done with this house. So I think I should do the garden. Because everyone needs a garden in their house, don't you guys? Yeah, this house is going to have a garden and it's going to be huge. This garden. I might even get myself a pet. It depends on whether I have another room. But I probably will because my garden is going to be huge. I might build like a hoop thing that you swim in. Like, do you know when you're a baby and then you have like those hoops? That's what I might do. I went a bit over. Oh well. I could just have it over. And then I might do like a massive gate. Because everyone needs a gate in their garden. There we go. I think that's a big enough garden. What do you say, guys? Comment down below if this is big enough. I feel like I should do like a really deep pool. Uh oh. I wasn't meant to do it there, so I'm just going to get some grass and I fill it in. Otherwise, that's going to really annoy me. There we go. I don't want to do it too big because I need to fit in the bouncy castle as well. And that's going to be quite big because it's a bouncy castle. Go do it really quick. Go do it super quick. Like, could I say we're going to do like Batman? Like Batman quick. Otherwise, it might not look too great. This is like one of my biggest gardens I've ever had. Like, well, in my house is that I've built. Because normally I do like little small gardens and all that. So. I thought that this one I'll change it up a bit make it all like big and nice I might do it one more after this and then I might leave it so I don't want to do it too deep I just want it like a little bit deep but I could do a shallow end like this could be the shallow end over here and then I could do like a deep end for like baby, well adults and then the deep, the shallow end is for their babies or like young children that are just starting to swim yeah I think that's what I might do that's the shallow, I feel like I could do some more for the shallow end because you know, a lot of children go swimming. So it's like a fun activity for them to do. Because you get to find like floaties and all that. And like, you get to go underwater as well. There we go. I feel like that should be enough now because I don't want it too deep though. Because otherwise I might drown. <laughs> That won't be very good. It's going to go underground here. There we go. Just break it like Batman. Like Batman quick. Like really quick. So I've learned a little trick to do the water but I'm not going to tell you that yet because I need to do this first, I need to get rid of all this. It's quite 
quite a good trick if you were like doing a pool and you don't want it, the water all going like do that. Do you know when it goes like down into the middle? It'll be good if you don't want that happening. If you want that happening then just don't try this trick. But I don't think anyone wants that to happen. Guys, you get to know what the little secret is. I'm doing it. So, what it is, is you get a bit of water. Okay, that's it for today. So, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video. But if you want to see part two, come and join us on part two. Bye, guys.